It's not a terrible idea. Now, putting some sort of like a scatter plate on the absorber, is that a good idea? I think it's always a good idea. You know, you sometimes you run into issues where you need more absorption and that may be taking away some of the absorption you need. The binary plates that uh, RPG referred to as a bad panel, but many other like uh, Real Acoustics calls them fast panels. Other companies probably have other names for them. The concept behind that was a pseudo random binary pattern. And that pseudo random binary pattern that they chose, which was uh, chosen for its behavior in this way, because if you draw like a straight line across or down, you, you, you'll you hit like a dot only every so often. Um, it makes it so that when sound hits the plate and reflects off, that the sound hitting the plate and reflecting off isn't actually going to be following that kind of a pattern. And it reduces that comb filtering effect at very, very high frequencies. And I mean, very high frequencies, like we're talking above 10 kilohertz there actually is some diffusion, which is why the bad panel was referred to as a binary amplitude diffuser. But if you actually read the patent and white papers surrounding it, Peter's pretty clear that it's not a diffuser in the sense of a product that's doing a good job diffusing below that. He never thought of it or referred to it as a product that provides any diffusion in that critical 500 Hertz to we'll call it 10 kilohertz range. It's above that range that it provides the diffusion. 